love stories cause they are so deep Like the first night that shines from the morning sun So does our land cause it is good to lie Oh let us be proud of who we are What we have to the African way Good afternoon from wherever you are. My name is Lucy Modoi from Nairobi, Kenya, and also part of the Sotambe Zambia International Film Festival and by extension, the Business Arena Content Market. We are excited to have you. I can see my guests are in the backstage waiting to share some insights. And I know you're waiting in anticipation to know if you've won or if you, you know, we are waiting to see. So yeah, I'm excited with you all. On the comment section, let us know where you're tuned in from. I'm from Nairobi. I can see people from Ghana, from Nigeria, from Zambia, our mother. And so continue telling us in the comment section, engage us, tell us whether you're anticipating to see whichever film you know you, know you worked on, nominated in whichever category we'll be discussing. So without further ado, I'm really excited to be here with our team. And uh, I will be introducing shortly our CEO and founder, Ms. Martina Mwanza, to come on board and welcome you all and share one or two insights about what you expect today. Welcome, Ms. Martina. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Or as Lucy said, good morning or good evening, wherever you are watching from. Um, this is Sotambe Zambia International from Festival. For those who are uh, interacting with us for the first time, Sotambe in local language, Bemba means come and watch. So basically this is come and watch Zambia International Film Festival. We've been running for the past 10 years and our main goal is to promote Southern African filmmakers or give Southern African filmmakers platform where they can showcase their films and where they can interact and get to know each other and, and know each other and know each other and possibly start up some international collaborations. So I'd like to say thank you to all the filmmakers who have submitted films to our festival. We are open to filmmakers uh, worldwide. And I like this you know, collaboration between the local filmmakers, the you know, regional filmmakers, and then the international filmmakers. So thank you to all of you for your submissions. We've received over 370 films this year. So our jury have been quite overwhelmed with the numbers that we received. And I must say that they are pretty good films. So equally, I'm excited uh, to see who are the nominees for this year's festival. 
I would like to also say that uh, because we are celebrating the 10 years anniversary of our festival, we have increased number of awards, um, award categories, which I'm very happy about and we'll be unveiling them tonight. And then for the first time, we'll be also introducing public voting. So the best short from Southern Africa and best feature from Southern Africa, not only that they will be awarded based on the professional juries, uh, but also awarded uh, based on the public voting. So you'll hear more about that. We are working on it with our partner streaming platform Inwit. Uh, lastly, from me, I would like to thank the jury members uh, and the head of the jury, Mr. Leonard Amanya, who is here with us today. Um, thank you for your dedication. Thank you for your precision of watching all these films. Um, and thank you for the selection of the nominees. Mr. Leonard, how are you today? Uh, I'm fine, Martina. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Martina, very much for uh, introducing me and also uh, being uh, uh, selected to be part of the uh, 10th edition of the Sotambe in Zambia International Film Festival. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be again um, working with, with the Zambian film industry. Um, the jury was really overwhelmed with the uh, uh, submissions that they received this year. Um, there were really uh, quite many good films in all categories. Of course, some categories didn't have uh, good competition and you find that uh, we didn't really, uh, we had to uh, not select that area because the competition was a, a less. But you find that in the short film category, uh, feature film category, there were a lot of films that uh, we had to choose uh, among the many, a few. Of course, if you had the opportunity to nominate maybe 30 or 40 or 50, probably all the films probably would, 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 would get a chance. But uh, it's a competition where you have to choose uh, a few uh, and then you move forward. And for me, for those who have not been selected, I, I want to encourage you that your movies are good and I pray that you continue submitting them to other festivals. Um, uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, again, I want to thank uh, uh, the Zambian, uh, the South African film industry, uh, appreciating how fast it is growing in terms of uh, storytelling and cinematography, which were really outstanding in this edition. Uh, for us as a jury, as the head of jury representing other juries that you know later, we want to uh, thank you for allowing us to be able to watch your film. Uh, uh, may the best uh, films uh, win. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Leonard and Martina for welcoming us to this great event. We've started a series of other events also by extension in the content market. So this is the unveiling of the nominees of the 10th, 10th edition of the Sotambe Zambia International Film Festival. And we are honored to have our jury uh, member there who said it was tough, you know, and I, we are seeing a lot of great content coming from this continent. And I'm sure Martina, you're very proud of the progress you've seen. And congratulations, this is the 10th edition. Thank you for your resilience and giving African and Southern African filmmakers a platform to continue showcasing their films. So uh, without further ado, we are getting into the nominations list. So I will start, uh, just give me a moment. We start off with the best short film, Southern Africa. So I'm gonna drum roll, someone drum rolls. I'm going to share with you our nominees coming right up. Coming right up. The nominees uh, for the best short film, Southern Africa. The first one is Red Lipstick from Zambia. Usilie from Zambia. Enough from Botswana. To be loved from Zambia. Butu from DRC. Love Hates from Zambia. On and Off from South Africa. And the second uh, 
category for nominations is for the best documentary Southern Africa. And the four categories uh, for the, the four films that were nominee, are nominees are Lobola, a bride's true, uh, true, a bride's true prize from South Africa, Mkomazi, Rhino Guardians, Tanzania, Light from Zambia, Fraha from South Uh, in line for you and we have a special guest with us today mr lawrence who was the winner of the best feature film southern Af southern africa 2022 uh, I'm, I'm sorry my apologies my apologies um i will introduce mr lawrence uh, a bit shortly yeah sorry we are honored to have miss Ms. Dangato's Jimmy, Karibu Sana in Kiswahili, that's welcome. Thank you so much for joining us and making time to be with us. Sorry for that little mishap there. And for the audience, she was the winner of the best feature film, Southern Africa in 2022. Thank you so much for joining us. So we just want the, the, the potential winners who are listening to you to learn uh, how has this was the experience for you being in Zambia and uh, you know uh, what opportunities have you seen from that so that they can also prepare themselves for the for what's coming uh, thank next thank you very much Welcome. lucy uh, i had i had the privilege of visiting zambia in 2022 in september uh, for the satombe uh, film festival it was an amazing experience um it was actually my second time visiting zambia but uh, it was the last time had been quite some time uh, back, so I I actually got to experience the country all over again. Um, the films that I was able to watch uh, from colleagues in the industry were very much inspiring. Um, it was a really great networking platform uh, to network with other African filmmakers uh, uh, in the Southern African uh, region. Um, also, getting to meet. Um, uh, industry professionals uh, who have a lot of experience, uh, like Lawrence, um, and members of the jury as well, um, it, like uh, Leonard, and of course, Martina, who put everything together. Uh, that was really um, a privilege uh, just to uh, discuss with them different um, issues affecting our industry uh, from our perspective uh, in Africa and also just gaining knowledge from them in terms of how they've tackled different challenges. Uh, so all around, it was it was really an amazing experience. And the best part was actually watching the films from the other filmmakers as part of the festival. So yeah, it was, it was incredible. I really enjoyed it. Thank you, thank you so much. And what do you think, uh... Uh, in the in the next ten years, looks like for the African film film industry. The African film industry is really growing. Um, we have so many uh, beautiful cultural stories to tell. Some of which are not really seen, um, and some of those perspectives we don't really get uh, a lot in terms of the media that we are exposed to. So um, I think there's a great deal of interest uh, in African storytelling. Um, there's a great deal of interest in African uh, filmmakers, uh, actors, uh, actresses, and those behind the camera, cast and crew. Uh, our industry is evolving in terms of legislation, um, in terms of technology. So we are able to do so many more innovative things. And we have so many talented people across the continent that are really eager to deliver interesting um, perspective to, uh, perspectives to not only us on the continent, but to the rest of the world. So I think the world is taking note. Uh, we are also taking note of each other because we haven't also shared um, our, our stories just um, as neighbors uh, on the continent. So I think there's a lot of potential um, and there's really a bright future ahead for African cinema. Wow, thank you so much. It was so nice to have you in our session stay in the background, engage with the audience. I'm sure a lot of them would want to hear your knowledge and insights about, you know, nitty gritties about the industry. So feel free to engage with us in our comment section. We are live on Facebook. Share this link with all your friends. 
yeah, as we wait to uh, to see what the industry has to offer in Africa and in Zambia specifically. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. So without further ado, you, I'll be introducing the next category, Best Feature Film Zambia. And I'll be projecting my, sc my screen so you can do your drum rolls wherever you are as we wait to see the nominees. And the nominees for the Best Feature Film Zambia go to Afilika Africans. Second one is Falling Short. Third film, Can You See Us? The fourth film is Starting New. And the fifth film is Girls to Ladies. Congratulations to all the nominees so far. We want to see what you're saying in the comment section. Have you seen your friend's uh, film nominated? Let us know and, and keep engaging with us in the comment section. And uh, I'll be listing the fourth category, which is the best feature film international. So just give me a moment, drum rolls. Drum rolls as we get that on your screen as well. The best feature film. Film International goes to the Planters Plantation from Cameroon. The West Africa is here as well. Njabara from Uganda. Bekma from Nigeria. Everybody wants to be loved. Germany. Laos. I hope I said that right. It must be a French word. Laos Lord. Okay. The Highway from Cameroon. All right. Thank you so much to all you and congratulations to all the nominees. Um, so I'm going to bring a, our second special guest, Mr. Lawrence. I'm sure people from Zambia have, have seen your works, have engaged with your works wherever they've gone in the cinema industry. I uh, just want to tap into that greatness of who you are. So I, I know you've had the privilege of traveling into big festivals. So could you maybe just briefly introduce yourself and uh, tell us a bit about your experience in some of the big festivals like, like the Cannes Film Festival? Okay, um, my name is Lawrence Thompson. I'm a... Uh, okay, I, I think my, my mic was off. Me, you are, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Like I said, my name is Lawrence Thompson. I'm a film producer in Zambia. I've been in the film industry for many, many years. Uh, I've won quite a number of awards for different uh, productions that I've done. Uh, I did the first Zambian soap opera, and um, I've also done another film. Uh, I, I wrote and executive produced uh, um, can, they, and can They See Us, uh, which will be coming on to Netflix quite, quite soon. Uh, and then um, internationally, I traveled to the Cannes Film Festival, and uh, I traveled there because my film, uh, Lute, was selected for, for, for me to pitch in, in front of an international financing team. And I was successful there. I managed to get uh, financing for my next film, uh, which is called Lute, and I should be producing that quite soon. Um, I can't overemphasize how important it is to attend festivals because uh, that's, that's the way to market your film. Uh, in the past, I thought uh, maybe you just uh, have your film, then you try and rush it onto Netflix or, or uh, some other platforms. But uh, the best the best approach is actually to go through um, festivals, and through the festivals, that's when you get to uh, you know get um, people who are sourcing content to look at your your work, and you and, and that way uh, also the the value of your film goes up uh, if there's so many people interested in your in your production. So I think. Festivals are very, very important, and um, I can't overemphasize how important it is that whatever films you make, um, make sure you run them through the festivals before you rush them off into any other platforms. That way you'll get a better market price, because I'm focused on the business side of film, and uh, festivals are the, the, the best way to go. Thank you. Thank you so much. And you've touched on something really important on film as a business. And uh, myself, um, I work a lot in the film and content distribution space, and those some of the insights you've shared are some of the gaps I see in my operations, like people not being well equipped on where to take their films after they finish production. So 
I hope we can get to engage with you after this in other sessions so that some of these insights can also be shared with the industry. So before I let you go, could you uh, uh, give some some tips to any upcoming filmmaker? Uh, where What can they do to get where you are? Okay, I, um, I think it's, uh, you know, like most of the times we make films because of passion, but we also need to look at the business side of, of films. Uh, and um, every time you're making your production, you must also try to assess what, what, is, what is trending internationally, what sort of stories. My stories normally, uh, if you look at all my films, I've done true stories, you know, uh, sort of like um, inspired by true life stories. I find those are the ones which uh, seem to be getting um, uh, interest. Uh, and, and also looking at our culture and tradition, it's important also to look at our culture and tradition as Africans, I think it's important that we start telling our own stories and not trying to imitate, uh, you know, things from the West and, 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 and things like that, but to look at our stories. They're very interesting stories that we have. For example, the story which I, which I pitched at uh, Cairns, it's a story about uh, young, young uh, you know, this early child marriages, which actually take place in the eastern part of Zambia. And uh, they, 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 um, there are some organizations that are fighting, are fighting that. So I, I managed to get a story about a young girl, and that's a story I'm telling. And uh, and I managed to get the financing. So I think it's important to look at the, the, the uniqueness of your environment uh, when you're telling a story, and not try to do. Uh, I mean, I mean, fiction is also good if it's a very good fiction. You can also go in that direction. And then um, it's important also to 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 get into uh, knowing distributors across the continent. Um, I know in Kenya there's, uh, the, there's there's a lot of distributors there who we could uh, who they who filmmakers could sort of like try to get into touch with them and talk to them about what, what how they should go about making their films. Uh, that will also help quite a lot. And then also going to the to the festivals uh, to uh, uh, to participate and, and and put their films out there so that people can actually have, uh, have access to them. That's the first step, I think, yeah. Wow, those are very great insights. And yeah, as I said earlier, we look forward to collaborating with you more and more in our other engagements under the Sotambe Zambia International Film Festival. Thank you for making time to be with us, stay in the session and uh, stay in the live stream. I'm sure a lot of filmmakers would like to engage with you just to get uh, some insights about the industry and how to go about things. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. All right. You heard it from the experts. And without further ado, I would like to emphasize that this is a film festival that celebrates the film industry in Southern Africa. And I'm really honored to uh, get to be part of it. And um, for those who are on, on social media, you can follow us on all our platforms. I have uh, put uh, our details there below. So kindly follow us and share with others as well. And for, for this year as well, we are introducing a content market in the festival called the Business Arena. I'm going to be giving you some more details about that. You've had me mentioning it a few, a few times. And we look forward to seeing you there. So Business Arena will be part of the film, film festival. So you'll get to showcase your film in the festival and you'll get to also learn the film business as well. Okay, great. So for the next and final category that I'll be announcing, it's the best feature film, Southern Africa. Drum rolls as I put that on your screen. And as, as I said, we are celebrating the Southern African film industry and the nominees for the best feature film, Southern Africa, just a moment, is Miss Norma, Malawi, Min Midnight Bride, Tanzania, Afilika, Zambia, Married, Zimbabwe, Time Spent with Cats is Never Wasted, South Africa, Can You See Us, Zambia, Ngoda, Zimbabwe. Yes, so those are the five major categories that we have and others will be announced on the social media pages. So if you've seen your friends, tag them on social media, let them know you've seen 
or had their film. Uh, forgive me if I've misspelled the name. I've, I've said it how I could have said as a Kenyan. And I'm going to bring back our CEO, Ms. Martina, uh, to just um, give us a bit of announcements about what you should be, be expecting in the next couple of months as we prepare for this big event. So welcome, Martina. I think you're on mute, yeah, you're on mute. Thank you so much again. Thank you, Lucy, for your moderation, and thank you to all our special guests uh, for the sharing of their insights. Congratulations to the nominees that have been unveiled so far. Of course, we have more categories, and uh, everybody will be announced immediately after this live call in our press release, so you will see yourself nominated in other categories, like Best Actor, Best Actress, Best Cinematography, and many others. So I would like to just say thank you so much to everybody who submitted the films. Please take a note that even though you are not selected or not nominated, you are still very much free to come and attend the festival. As you heard from our special guest, it's a place for networking, it's a place for new collaborations uh, and business meetings and ideas. So just make sure or just know that the festival is open to everybody. It's free of charge. We'll be very much happy to see you. And from my end, uh, just to say thank you to everybody, our juries, and also to our sponsors and partners, uh, whom we really appreciate. Um, so thank you so very much. Okay, I'm just gonna put up uh, the list of some of our sponsors. We we do appreciate you for making this event stand out and continually supporting the the event. I hope you can see that, Ms. Martina. Maybe you can give a shout out to some of them. Yes, it's loading. Thank you so much. Definitely uh, thank you to uh, our government, the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Arts. Thank you to our partners and colleagues uh, from South Africa, New Metro Cinema, company Linet and streaming platform Inuit, uh, Multi-Choice Talent Factory and Multi-Choice Zambia, um, and many other partners, Media Pros Africa, Business Arena, Filmmakers Guild, um, and many, many more. So thank you again. And then for the filmmakers, maybe last uh, note from me, please follow us on social media. We'll be announcing the public voting for the two categories of the short film, best short film uh, Southern Africa, and then also best feature film Southern Africa. So you'll be notified and then we'll communicate with all the nominees on the further steps uh, and how to proceed in delivering us the films. Thank you so much. Thank you, Martina. I want you to stay there because we I'm just about to talk about the content market. So some of you are wondering what a content market is, but uh, just to explain briefly, because I want you to be there. It's a space where content buyers and sellers sh uh, share business ideas and exchange uh, their content for platforms. So if you're a producer, this is your space to come learn on film distribution strategies you had from Mr. Lawrence as well as uh, all, our team here, we've explained that we are, our intention is to see our stories travel. So besides that, we also want to see you monetizing on your content. So our, our content market will be on the 27th to uh, the 29th of September at the Zambia Italian Cult Cultural Center. And I'm just gonna project a bit of information about the event. So that, uh, but all this information is on our social media pages. Yeah, so the event, as I mentioned, is on the 27th to 29th. And yeah, the uh, Zambian Cultural uh, Center. And for the business arena content market, we have our own social media pages, which are obviously linked to the Sotambe Film Festival. We are part one, part and parcel. So there you also see the details for registration. I'm gonna put the website there on our presentation, but these are the charges. So come, if you want to exhibit at the event, if you have, you sell film equipment, uh, if you're a film student, this is your platform as well. All delegates, if you're there to buy content, if you're there to network or to just see what goes on, everyone is, is welcome, every person from the film industry. So we are sharing all our information on every social media platform for Business Arena. So just look for at Arena Zamif. Yeah, so thank you so much. We appreciate you making time to be in this session. And uh, our website, I've just put it that down, there, down there below. Just a moment, I'm gonna put it for you, yeah. 
yeah, it's right there. So our website is eventset.co.zm slash business arena. You're going to find all the information about the content market and what to expect there. And also, if you wish to uh, speak with us, our email address is sotambe at, uh, uh, my apologies, zamif at sotambe.org, zamif at sotambe.org. But every information you'll require is on our social media pages. So please follow us because we'll be sharing all updates, even for these nominations that we've mentioned today, they'll be, they'll be posted on our social media pages right after this live stream. So for those who miss the live stream, make sure you share the, the link with them for them to join. Let me see uh, some of the people online so that I can give you a shout out before we end this session. Um, oh yeah, we have people from all over the world. We have people from Italy. We have people from, I see you, Matteo, Italy. I see you, Teboho. Uh, people from South Africa, James, I see you. <sighs> Tanza, Tafadzua. Wow, I hope I said that well from Zimbabwe. And South Africa, I see you, Kolisa. I see you, Brian, from South Africa. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. We love you. I, I may not be able to read all of you, but I see you. We are, we are, we are global. And yeah, keep sharing the word and wait for our updates on all our social media platforms. Thank you so much. I don't know if Martina is there. You can give your parting shot as we close this session. Or if she's not there, we can just end. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, we'll be giving you more, more, more details on social media. Take care of yourselves and see you in Zambia in September. Bye.
Africa.